Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some lighting effect techniques that you can use in uh, quite a few images and projects that you might uh, you might want to use them on. And there's quite a few of them and that's a, kind of one big reason that I want to show them to you. Uh, a lot of people don't know about these so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do is open up your image in Adobe Photoshop. I've chosen this image. I think it's a pretty nice one. Um, but I do want to enhance it a little bit before we go get into the, uh, the lighting the lighting settings and this is always a good thing to do before you uh, you, you do enhance a, a photo like this. I pretty much do it to uh, to all my photos just to make sure that they're the best quality. Now, the first thing that I might try to do and actually uh, let me not get ahead of myself <coughs> the first thing that I always do is make a copy of my background layer so if you're uh, you go to your layers palette and if your layers palette's not open go up to window go down to layers and uh, click on that and then it will open up your layers palette. But go ahead and click on that background layer and drag it into your new layer button or you can press Control J on your keyboard that will do the same thing. Okay, I'll press Control Z to get rid of that uh, that second copy because we only need one copy. I'm going to go ahead and rename this background um, copy to lighting because eventually we're going to apply a filter to this layer and it will actually be a little bit destructive so that's one good reason to keep this background layer as well because when we apply that filter it's going to actually change this layer and the only way to go back to the original would be to have this or a copy of this okay so I'll go ahead and click off the uh, visibility on here and um, I'll go ahead and start with this uh, this copy that we've renamed lighting selected and I'm going to adjust some of the uh, the settings here just to make it a little bit better so I'm going to uh, add an adjustment layer by going down to the add adjustment layer button in our layers palette <clears throat> right in the middle there and I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to just bump up the master saturation and what I mean by master saturation is that our drop down up here is set to master um, <clears throat> and that pretty much if you click on that drop down you will see a bunch of different colors and if you click on those different colors it'll affect just those colors in the image. I want to affect all of them so I leave it on master and I'm going to bump that up to about 25 or so. It's going to, uh, you're going to have to play around with your own image. Uh, you might want to bump it up more or less depending on what image you're using. You can also see the drop down up here. Um, you can play with uh, some of those settings as well but those kind of, as you can see, um, are just kind of presets. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually this uh, increase saturation more setting is about what I wanted but I'm gonna take it down to 25 to where I had it. Okay, I'll press enter uh, just to lock those settings in there kind of. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add another adjustment layer so I'll go down to that same add adjustment layer button click on it and I want to add a curves adjustment layer and I'm gonna do what I call a curves adjustment or a, an S curve adjustment to this layer. So I'll click once in the middle, once in between the middle and the top, once in between the middle and the bottom to create three points. I'm going to drag that top uppermost point up and to the right a little bit and this bottom one down and to the left a little bit. And that's just going to intensify the highlights and the lowlights in my image. And I usually like to do this pretty drastically because I, I kind of like the more dramatic lighting. Okay, as you can see the grass is a little bit red now so what I want to do now is add one last adjustment layer and it's going to be a color balance adjustment layer. You can do it with a few different kinds of adjustment layers, um, but this is the one that I want to do now. And what I'll do is I'll just start with the shadows, and I'm just going to drag. Uh, so what I've done is I've selected this shadows radio button at the top, and I'm just going to drag each one of them very slightly away from the red a little bit, a little bit more towards the green. As you can see, the yellows are coming through a little bit more, so this one I'm going to drag a little bit more towards the blue. I'm going to do that on each one of these radio kind of channel buttons okay so a little bit away from the red there a little bit away from the red there a little bit more towards the blue and as you can see that's kind of intensifying the blue in our sky a little bit so you only want to do this a little bit on each one of these layers because it can make kind of a huge difference to your picture and as you can see uh, we've kind of lost a lot of the the red color in the grass and uh, our sky is kind of a lot more blue. So actually I think what I want to do is I want to click on that layer mask um, for that adjustment layer and I'm actually going to erase some of the blue out of the sky and probably erase off of this barn as well because I like the way the grass is looking but I don't like so much uh, how that affected my barn and my sky. So what I want to do is I want to select that layer mask and I want to get an eraser over here from my tool palette go up to the top make sure the hardness is set to zero make sure I have a pretty big brush 
and I'll set the opacity to uh, 50%. It's already set like that because of uh, when I did my, my test, okay? So I'll just kind of brush a little bit of that effect off of the sky, off of the barn. I'll hit the barn twice because I actually don't want any of it on the barn. The barn was looking very nice before. And I'll just kind of go over the whole sky. If you need to do it more, just go over it one more time. Okay, and I'll just kind of show you what that did. So um, I click off that layer and I'll click on that layer. So now it's pretty much just affecting the trees a little bit and the grass. And actually, I think I want to hit the trees one more time with the eraser on that uh, uh, layer mask because I like those being a little bit more red. Okay, so now we have our, uh, our lighting and our, our saturation and everything the way that we kind of want it so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and get to that, uh, that lighting effect that we wanted to do. So I'll click back on our lighting layer that we uh, renamed earlier. It's really just a copy of this background layer. And I'm going to go up to Filter, go down to Render, and Lighting Effects. Now there's a whole bunch of different lighting effects. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's going to add a lot of extra time to this video. I did find one earlier that I kind of like. It's called Flashlight. So I'm going to stick with that. I will do a real quick, um, I'll just show you real quick a couple other things that you can do. So there's this drop down up here under style and there's a bunch of different sort of things that you can do. Looks like the one I clicked on right now is a triple light. Maybe if you wanted to do a flying saucer picture you might click on that. I, I'm actually just going to render that real quick so we can sh I show you what it looks like. Kind of weird, okay? I'll press control Z to go back. Alright, I'll go back up to, to filter, down to render, and lighting effects, okay? Um, and I'm going to go back to that style drop down and go back to my flashlight that I wanted. Like I said, there's a lot of different ones uh, to play around with, okay? So since the main Im uh, image in this picture is the barn, I'm going to kind of just drag that uh, center anchor over to the barn and I might drag these outer anchors out a little ways just to make the, uh, the, the flashlight a little bit bigger, okay? Something kind of like that might be kind of nice, okay? Now you can play around with all these sliders as well. Um, <clears throat> it's just going to intensify what you already have there or make it a little less apparent. So if you, I'm not even sure what these ones, I don't think that's doing much down here, okay? But uh, definitely these ones up here are going to change a lot of your image, okay? So, <clears throat> once you get it to a point that you like, oh, there's also this lighting type drop down. If you want a directional light, you can you can change the direction of it, um, that sort of thing. And uh, spotlight, uh, don't like that one. Omni is pretty good. Not really sure what that stands for, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to stick with that. Okay. So now <clears throat> I have the settings the way that I want them. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it's applied it to the image. Looks pretty cool. Okay, it's added a pretty dramatic uh, flashlight sort of effect to the to the image. Okay, and as I told you before, it added it right to that layer, so it was destructive. And the only way to get back to our original image is to uh, click the the visibility on on this background layer. Okay, you can make a copy of that if you want to, but since we're pretty much done um, adjusting the layers, we uh, we don't need to do that. Okay, so the last thing that I might want to do is click on this lighting layer and play around with the blending modes on that layer. I might try overlay. That's interesting, but it looks pretty ridiculous, actually. Um, it looks pretty good on the barn, though. So if you wanted to add, you know, a layer mask or something and erase away everything other than the barn, or uh, just kind of soften everything other than the barn, maybe take the opacity down to 50% or something, that might look pretty good, actually. I might, I might go back to that. The other one that I was playing around with uh, earlier was just a simple multiply and then taking the opacity down to 50% uh, or something like that. I think I actually like um, the, uh, the overlay one a little bit better. But, um, I mean, that's just kind of the name of the game. Go ahead and play around with these different settings and uh, see what you like the best, okay? Now, I did the overlay. I like the way it makes the barn look. I don't really like the way that it's making these trees look. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that layer, add a layer mask, and I still have my eraser selected from earlier. I have the opacity set to 50%. And I have um, a large brush, 900 pixels, and the hardness set to zero. And I'm just going to kind of click around these trees to let some of that light through a little bit. Okay? Because I do want to see those. But uh, this is starting to look kind of like a nice sunset image where before it was... Uh, it was just kind of a flat image, and I can just show you uh, since since we're kind of done editing this. 
but uh, it's kind of a cool technique that you can use to add these lighting effects, okay? So let me just show you where we started with by just deselecting the visibility, or by selecting off the visibility on these. We started with this image, and by adding a few adjustment layers and uh, a lighting effect, we ended with this kind of an image. So it's very, uh, very more dramatic lighting, okay? And it's pretty easy to do. So um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you liked it, please click the like button on YouTube. And uh, please like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And thanks for watching.